Okay, we're out here this morning, uh, gonna blanket wrap and strap a piece of equipment. Uh, wanted to show everybody a little bit about that. This is all going back for scrap, so we're gonna kind of do it kind of a little bit less than we normally would, but throw the blanket on there. Biggest thing we like to do is make sure that uh, blanket is between the straps and the piece of equipment. So just throwing this over the top, if it's really a, a high value piece of equipment, we wanna make sure that we uh, double strap, double blanket and double strap it, but this is going back for scrap. And because we've got the vertical and the, uh, the, um, the vertical and the horizontal E tracks we can use, we're gonna put a couple of corner boards on here as well, uh, just to kind of show you since this is a scrap, kind of what you can do, but you wanna make sure you have the blankets in between the strap and the uh, corner protector. So we're gonna come around here and uh, we're gonna strap this bad boy in. So just like that, make sure that strap's in there well. If it's real high value stuff, you wanna make sure you have blankets on the backside as well. All right, so here we have a copier. It's a little bit different than what we were blanket wrapping before. This has the plastic on it and you wanna make sure that you take care of the plastic and over tight the straps. So, we're gonna make sure we get the blanket around it fully, and then we're gonna put the straps on it so that we don't tighten it too tight to hurt the straps. Make sure the blanket is in between the wall and the piece of equipment, and uh, that you get the blanket completely over it. Now this is going back for recycling, so we're not gonna double blanket it. We've got the wheels locked, and we're getting ready to strap it in with the E-Track straps, and uh, that's pretty much how you gotta do this uh, blanket wrap stuff.